By the time I stepped outside, the leaves were on fire. It was the middle of summer and cold rain was pelting down from the sky. I heard the shout of the guard on my right and tried to keep my expression calm. Hey, wait. I didn't know the contents of the voice and looked at the guard on my right with disbelief. What are you here for? Could you do something to stop the fire, Ordo? He replied to the guard I thought was confused and leaned against a wall. I frowned and looked over at him. If you're here to help me, then do it quickly. It was early on a Tuesday, which was the perfect day for a fire. I looked up into the heavens to see if the cloud cover was turning, but there was no change in the weather and was now running red with fire. Hey, that kind of stuff isn't going to burn down a tree. Stop the fire. I gave the guard a look and he didn't respond to my retort. The soldier next to him however was acting very strangely. Hey, what's the matter? You all look shocked. Look over here. I approached him and asked him what was up. It was this time I noticed that there were actually two soldiers guarding the first house. Look, I understand why you are all scared. But we're not going to let anything happen. The soldiers looked anxious and a look of frustration crossed their faces. The last thing they needed was a civilian catching a fire. I know, but this is the Forbidden Fortress. As the words hit me, my heart leapt into my throat. There was one day in every year that only upper-class students could enter the fortress that housed the Seven Wonders. I wasn't sure if they knew it or not, but the fortress did have a gate leading to the City of Hidden Dragons. It was the best location in the city and was often the site of even the most serious political battles. There was the same reason why we would never enter the fortress. We would have been killed by the servants if we actually ran into them. The place was so vast and the gates were so big that just a single female servant wouldn't be able to take down us all. At least let us sleep here, Ordo. We had to work hard to survive and there were countless dangers in this fortress. The subordinates' boots pressed against the dirt and twigs, making it easier for them to walk over. I knew that the bastard wasn't letting us sleep, but he still pushed me to open the door. This isn't my decision, but I thought it would be best to let these people sleep. They all seemed to be in deep trouble. The girl next to me had her face stained with blood, and I could see red spots all over her body. She seemed to have a miserable expression as her eyes looked up at me with empty sockets. There's no way we'll let anyone die in here. This is a crime against humanity. No one is to leave alive. I could hear the soldier being berated by another soldier. The woman seemed to have difficulty sleeping because of the living memories in her head. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I put the thought out of my mind, but they were too familiar. I guess there was nothing to be done. Looked down and the one holding the three of us up gave an energetic roar. That's enough. I'll force this bastard to keep everyone in the fort. This was a man who could transform into a dragon. The soldiers didn't dare speak up and he rushed out. And so it ended without any outside help. The Myth of Forbidden Fortress The Forbidden Fortress Gate of Death was discovered at the Life Open Air Food Festival in Meilin, China this month. The mysterious stone gate, thought to be part of a temple, is the largest in China to have been built into a mountain, according to tour company Epic Dream. It is said that the city of Meilin built its first life under the Forbidden Fortress, guarding its residents against demons, an Epic Dream spokeswoman told Fox News. While the explorer called the Forbidden Fortress of Meilin is believed to have been from Lu, the famous stone wall to its north has since been destroyed, and the name of the site has been changed to the Silla Fortress of Montaloc. In the 1920s, an American archaeologist, George McGill, stated that he had seen the remains of a fortified city inside Death Mountain and was puzzled by the discovery of the gate. The cache of archaeological artifacts found at life including the stone gate was recently returned to the city. The official location of the site in the Meilin Prefecture of China can be found on China's main list of tourist attractions. As the author wakes up he realizes that he had been asleep for a while and he was working on his thesis on the Forbidden Fortress. The very next day he found out the place he dreamt of as working on his thesis he was eager to know much about it. 
As the author wakes up he realizes that he had been asleep for a while, and he was working on his thesis on. The Forbidden Fortress Throughout the course of the game you have to free yourself from the torture room. Every aspect of the torture room is dark and mysterious. Through it you will learn of the paths leading to the master and his players in order to discover where you are, the nature of his research, and whether you are one of his secret power players. In the tortured chamber, you will find the ruins of a once mighty nation, the fragmented body of a dead god, the secret mainframe of a tyrant, splintering pieces of a creepy deity's broken soul, chaos engendered by renegade spirits who dwell within the corridors and secret rooms of the fortress, access to an extensive section of the fortress, which is unaffected by time and time manipulation. An underbelly of the fortress, where dangerous creatures lurk, and layers of forbidden knowledge are whispered. Secret information about the nature of the master's time manipulation powers, and his internal conflicts. The world's most powerful artifacts, that protect or harm you in your struggles to escape the torture room. Items to help you solve every time manipulation puzzle. Access to special mind power puzzles. Hidden roots and secret passages to unearth more information about the game's dark secrets. It has been our goal to create a blend of a strategy game and a role-playing game with a deeply satisfying storyline. In Eternal Guardian, you will carry a silent guardian that is able to travel through the underground labyrinths of the evil fortress. You will be able to travel between hidden floors and rooms and around the corridors to find clues that will help you to solve various puzzles and find another survivor, a child in need, in order to reach the fortress's heart, the master's memory core. Asterisk the secret Delphian expansion has been added. Asterisk some time manipulation puzzles have been added. Asterisk full phone and tablet support. Asterisk game center support. Asterisk global high scores and global high score history. Controls are optimized.